Life right now is a movie Ah, oh, yeah Wish the soundtrack was groovy Too bad I'm frustrated, I'm moody Ah, oh, yeah Just need a happy ever after Cause this was kinda fun When it all started going down Walking around in PJs Hello everyone, what is up? And welcome back to my channel If you are new here, hi my name is Katie, I live in Orlando. I make all shopping me videos, home decor videos. I love shopping seasonal decor and giving you home decorating tips. So if you love any of those things or if you love stores like Target, Home Goods, Walmart, World Market, Kirkland, Home Goods, did I already say that? TJ Maxx, you're definitely gonna love it here. So please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I am going for 50K before Christmas. It's a lofty goal, but how can you hit a goal if you don't set one? So please help me out by hitting the subscribe button down below. Today's video has been a long time coming. I have been shopping for this video for the last several months, but more intensely over the last several weeks. And I am so excited to be showing you so many of the items I'm going to be using to transform this bedroom. Finally, this is the last space that I have not decorated yet in our new apartment. It's not even new anymore. We've been living here since March, but it's just so expensive to decorate and like really cultivate the environment that you want. And I have very expensive taste, so does Brian. So decorating this apartment has just taken a lot longer than I would have originally thought. But if it created the space that we dreamt of, then it's worth it to me. And I'm really excited that after I film this haul video, you will be seeing the whole transformation and kind of like what went into my thought process and what the final outcome is. And I'm just really excited to finally get started. I am also hoping to do a full apartment tour once this is done. I feel like that way you can see everything all in one video. I feel like at this point you've seen most of the spaces in our place, but if you are interested in seeing them all in one video and me kind of like walking you through it, then just let me know down below in the comments. But anyways, today's video is going to be one of the biggest home decor hauls I will ever do, if not the biggest home decor haul. I am surrounded by items that I have been sourcing and shopping for the last several months. And I'm really excited to show you what style we're going for and just kind of give you a general idea of like where my head was at and what theme I'm going for. It's really similar to the rest of our house. This room makeover and bathroom makeover has been such a passion project for me. So much has gone into it and I'm really excited to actually see it come to life. And I'm just really hoping that it looks the same in person, if not better than it does in my head. But I have so many items to show you. So without further ado, I'm gonna just get into it, show you everything that I've purchased so far for this bedroom makeover. Some items are still coming in the mail, so I'm not gonna have them here to show you. And also I'm going to be using items from around my house or items I've purchased over the last few months that I never found a home for yet in our apartment. So I will be highlighting those items when I do the room transformation video. So definitely make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that. That is what we have been working towards. All right, Katie, focus. I don't wanna keep rambling on because I have so many items to show you. So if you're excited to see everything I have bought and kind of see the theme and a sneak peek at our room makeover, then just keep watching because I'm gonna go ahead and get into it right now. So I did go ahead and break it up into categories. At first I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it by store or by category, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it by category because I feel like it will be better for you to get like a full vision if I show like this is the bedding and this is what I bought for accent decor and this is for the bathroom. So that is how we are gonna do it. So first up is bedding. One of the parts I am most excited about, I just feel like our bed is like so grand, it's so big. We have this like giant upholstered king size bed and I'm so excited to finally have bedding that I feel like accents the bed instead of just this white bedding that was a good idea in theory, but with three dogs and two humans, it's not a vibe. Okay, so the first item I'm gonna show you is the comforter. It is this like beautiful taupey color. It does have some like line detailing on it. I'm hoping that the camera will be able to pick it up, but it's just this beautiful like plushy, um, like neutral beigey color. It's a little bit more cool tone than I originally thought I wanted to go for. But I found this one at Home Goods. This comforter was $70. It had decent reviews. I was able to find ones similar on Amazon. The issue I had with bedding was a lot of times I would find one and then when I would read the reviews, people would be like, it gets ruined after one wash. And I was just trying to avoid all of that because the comforter that we have right now, which is from Target, 
did not hold up well at all. So really excited about this one. Can't wait to see it on the bed. Next up we have the sheets. So I finally found the perfect sheets after a million years of searching at every Home Goods Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I also went to Ross, I went to Burlington. That is the best place to look for bedding or those stores are the best stores to look for bedding. You can get really, really high thread counts for super, super cheap. So I finally found these. I knew I didn't want white, but I also didn't want brown. I wanted like a very specific ivory color and I finally found it. This brand is Park Manor Linens, 1400 thread count king sheet set and this was $40. I bought the sheets that we have on our bed now from Target, I think. And when I told you guys about it and showed you and told you how much it costs, you told me I got completely ripped off and to check out Home Goods, TJ Maxx and Marshalls and you were so right. So to everyone else out there who is looking for bedding make sure you check TJ Maxx Marshalls and Home Goods because they have every single color you could ever imagine it might take a couple stores to go to for your specific color that you're looking for thread count and bed size but it's out there the next item going on the bed is this throw blanket this is by threshold I just wanted like a really like comfy pretty knitted blanket there's so many different styles of blankets out there because this is our bedroom I just wanted it to be really cozy this is where we come to relax and unwind so I just knew that I wanted like a really chunky beautiful ivory knit throw blanket for the bed this is from Target the threshold brand like I said and this was $30 moving into pillows we have lots of pillows on our bed we're actually gonna have more pillows on our bed when I make it over right now we have already a lot but there's gonna be a couple more. I don't think Brian's gonna be too excited about it. But as you can see, I have these Euro shams behind me and I knew I wanted to get new covers for them. I didn't want anything stark white on the bed. I wanted to move towards like ivories and beiges. I found these Euro sham covers at Home Goods. They're a beautiful ivory color. They were $15 a piece and I did get three of them because we have three Euro shams. I'm really, really sorry about the glare, but they do have these really pretty tassels up here and they're just a really nice like linen-y ivory color and material and that's exactly what I was looking for. So when I found these, I scooped up three of them as fast as I could. For our main pillows that we actually sleep on, we currently have two completely different pillowcases, but I wanted to get two that match. So I picked up these at Home Goods. These are satin pillowcases. Satin and silk pillowcases are so, so good for your skin and your hair. I cannot recommend them enough. I currently have, I think, a silk pillowcase and I absolutely love it. And Brian was a little bit jealous, so I wanted to get new ones for both of us. Mine got a little bit messed up in the wash and I just want them to all match. So I did get two of these. It's just this really, really beautiful champagne color and I think it will look really, really nice on our bed. They did have king size and standard size satin pillowcases. We just have standard size pillows, that's what we actually sleep with, and then we do have king pillows as like decorative pillows. These were $7.99 a piece, and the king ones were $7.99 as well from Home Goods. The last pillows that we have are throw pillows, decorative throw pillows. If you've seen any of my other like room decorating videos, then you know that I struggle with throw pillows so much and I just always think about this woman that I met that works at Home Goods who worked in interior design for a long time. She basically had to like shake me by my shoulders and tell me not to overthink it because I just get very overwhelmed. I, I don't know what it is about throw pillows. But I found these ones from Target. They are Threshold by Studio McGee and they're just these like beautiful, beautiful stripes. I loved all the striping details on it. I also loved all of the colors and I just thought that they would go perfect. Plus they're plushy enough where I think I could do a little bit of a pillow chop, which Brian hates, but I'm overruling him <laughs> in this scenario because I just think it will look really good. So I did go ahead and pick up three of these. Right now on our bed, we have two accent throw pillows, but I found a picture on Pinterest and I will put it here where they had like four across. So I just thought that I needed to have more. We do have such a big upholstered king size bed that you will see in the room makeover video that I'm obsessed with and I don't know I just really wanted to like do it justice and have like tons and tons of pillows I want the bed to look very very comfortable and before I forget to mention these were $22 a piece and these also come in Euro sham size so if you wanted to do these as your bigger pillows you definitely could these are also great because the covers come off so you know how much I love that the Studio McGee pillows at Target normally the covers do come off they're a little bit higher quality so I recommend and her pillows over any of the other ones at Target. Next, we are gonna move into wall decor. I am planning on doing two big shelves above our bed and then decorating them with the accent decor that I'm gonna show you after I show you the wall decor. 
The wall decor category um, is one that I am really excited about. I have been collecting these items for upwards of a year. Some of these items I've had for a really long time. Above our TV on either side, I'm planning on doing a massive basket wall and you just need lots of baskets to form a really beautiful and cohesive basket wall. So I've been collecting baskets for a really long time. So I do want to kind of run through them and show them to you really quickly. Some of them I won't be able to link. Some of them I did get as a set off Amazon. So anything I can link will be linked down below. And if I miss anything, please feel free to leave me a comment or shoot me a message over on Instagram. I answer all my DMs. Um, my Instagram account is at Katie Vining. So definitely make sure to follow me there if you have any other questions or want to see behind the scenes sneak peeks. But let me go grab this massive stack of baskets and we're going to get into where they're from and just kind of show you the general vibe of the basket wall. I was not kidding when I said I have a lot of baskets. <laughs> They're just all in a massive pile, so I'm pretty much gonna grab them in no particular order. So this is the first one. I'm pretty sure I got this from Home Goods. This is the one I've had the longest. I had this hanging on my wall at my old house and the house before that. So I've always kind of like loved this style of baskets, but I was never like <sighs> bold enough, I guess, to like go for a full basket wall, but now we're doing it full send. So this is the first basket that I have. It does have a little like hanging tab, which will make it a lot easier when I go to actually hang it on the wall. Some of them don't have that, so I'm just gonna have to like nail right through it, but we're gonna figure it out. I'm super excited to hang all of these. But this is the first one. It's a really, really good size for basket walls. You need to have like a bunch of varying sizes and like textures and patterns of baskets, in my opinion. And this is the first one. I love like the white yarn that it has on it. This is just a beautiful basket and these hold up so well for ever, honestly. The next two are actually from Hobby Lobby. I picked these up a long, long, long time ago as well. I did get the smaller one and the bigger one. They probably honestly still sell these. This one was $30 and then I'm sure I got it 50% off for like the wall decor week. And then this one was 23. So there are these two baskets. They do also have a little thing where you can like hang it on the back as well. So that makes it really, really easy. The first one I showed you is like full basket all the way through. This one does have wood on the back. So I have a lot of different styles of baskets that I'm gonna be using to make this wall. The next basket is from Target. It is massive. I'm pretty sure this is Threshold by Studio McGee. Oh no, this is just Threshold. This is just a piece of wall art that they had. I think I got this like at the beginning of the year. So around January before we moved in here. This is a really big one and it's gonna be really, really pertinent for me to have big, big, big baskets and small ones like you're gonna see coming up to make the basket wall of my dreams. The next basket is like throwing a wrench in the whole thing. You're gonna be like, wait, what? The next basket is this one. It is black and white. I'm pretty sure it is from Home Goods. It no longer has a tag on it, but it's just this beautiful black color with white detailing. And then the next one is a black, white, and brown one. This one is from Home Goods. It still has the price tag. With these baskets, I would just grab them every single time I saw them at Home Goods. If I thought that it would fit well with my basket wall, baskets are like one of those things that like if you see them, you just gotta buy them. And you can also find really good ones at the Goodwill. I've seen a lot of thrifting videos on YouTube and they always find great baskets. I did take a couple trips to Goodwill, which you will see items that I did purchase there. I didn't find any baskets though, but this one is from Home Goods. It was $20 and I just recommend that if you wanna do a basket wall, start searching on like the Facebook Marketplace or at Home Goods every time you go. And if you see one, just get it. The next one is also from Home Goods. It is a brown and black one. This one was $10. These always come from their um, like traveling collections, so like made in Vietnam, made in the Philippines, or like those types of collections. They always come from those. You can also find these over in like the outdoor section. So if you're not seeing them in home decor, check over in the outdoor section. They'll have these as like serving trays and stuff, but these are perfect for basket walls. This one was $10. Such a cutie, a little bit of a smaller one, but we have ones that are a lot smaller. The next ones are from Target, and if you have been a long time Target Tuesday lover, you will probably recognize these really, really tiny baskets. These were from actually the Black History Month collection, and I happened to find these like several months after that collection was already gone. So I got each of these for like a dollar. I was so excited when I found these. I found them at different times and I was really happy that they would sell them to me because sometimes they have to salvage out the items and they get sent to stores like Daily Deals and they won't let you buy them. But these baskets are gonna be so perfect and they're so little and tiny and I'm just so excited to like see it all hung up on the wall. The next ones are actually a set from Amazon. 
I can't remember exactly how much it was. I think it was like maybe 50 or $60 and you got six baskets. So here is one, they're all brown and black, so they just go so perfect. Here is another one. Also, really, really varying sizes, which is super important. This florally type one, this one, and then this one, which is more black. So I just wanted to make sure I got a really good mix of like brown and black. I didn't want it to be like too brown or too white or too black. I wanted it to just be like a perfect mix of the three colors. The next basket I actually got from Walmart and it is this one. This one comes out more on the sides. So I'm excited to see like how I can configure these and really layer them. But this one is from Walmart. It is the Better Homes and Gardens brand and it is listed as a decorative tray. And I'm pretty sure this was $20. And then the last one is also from Amazon way different than the others different texture but I just wanted to get it just to have like another smaller one because I wanted to make sure I had every single size and every size in between so I picked up this one not sure if it will actually make the basket wall or if I will use it for something else but it will definitely get used somewhere around here next up for wall decor we have a giant print that I printed out I bought the print as a like printable download how many times am I gonna say the word print <laughs> I bought a pack of printable downloads off of Etsy and you're gonna see that I printed them in a bunch of different sizes, some to use in some picture frames I'm gonna show you, and then this big one to hang in a big black frame. So if you can remember in our entryway, in our entryway decorate with me video, I hung these huge black frames. Well, they came in packs of two and I knew that eventually I would want to use the fourth one in our room. Now is the time. So I printed out a fun little like modern bohemian print. I'm not gonna show it to you yet. You're gonna have to wait until the room transformation video to really see it but I just think it's gonna look really good. Next up, we have a curtain rod. I just got a really simple black ball curtain rod. It's just a matte black color. This was $16.99. It's one of the extendable curtain rods. Our window goes across like 66 inches, I think. So this one goes 36 to 72, which is perfect. And $17 for a curtain rod, I felt like was super reasonable. For the curtain rod, I did get these curtains, which if you saw my shop with me video, you saw these. I did go back and get them. I'm a little bit apprehensive that these are actually not going to work out because they're a very stark white color and nothing else in our room is going to be that same stark white color. So we're going to try them and if they don't work, that's okay. I will just return them and get different ones that match the room better. But I am hoping they will work because I really, really love these black tabs. I think they are very, very unique. It was two curtain panels. These are 96 inches long. So I'm just going to hang the curtain rod just a little bit above the top of the curtain um, because it was like a weird length. I think our windows like 92 inches so I'll just hang it a little bit higher and this was $40 for the two panels last up in wall decor we have these giant shelves these are so beautiful I got these from Target they are the threshold brand I do think they were like $30 a piece they do hold up to 33 pounds each so I have been very cognizant when making all my purchases to decorate these shelves. I want it to be like way under 33 pounds I'm so scared that these are gonna fall on us in our sleep which like I feel like I'm putting that out into the universe. But they're this really pretty wood color. It's not too warm, not too cool, and they're the perfect length. They are 36 inches each, and I am so excited to decorate these. Moving into accent decor, I'm just gonna kind of grab stuff. It's not gonna be in any particular order or just very organized at all. I got a ton of accent decor. I feel like this is really where the room comes to life, you know, like all the little, little pieces. I always harp on that on my channel and in my videos about how the little things are really what make a space. In my opinion, that's just how I feel. Of course, the furniture and all those things are very important, but to me, the accent decor is like really where you can let your style shine. And I'm just, how many more times am I gonna say I'm excited, okay? The first accent decor item I picked up was this gold chain. They did have the one that I liked from Target, the wooden one, but when I finally saw it in person, it was way too red for our room. It wouldn't match literally anything else. So I did pick up this gold one from Kirkland's. This is pricey, this is $35, but I just feel like it's something that we will have for a long time, hopefully. If I don't wanna use it in our bedroom someday, I'm sure I can find somewhere else to use it. I know in the future we're gonna end up having like built-ins. I'm just obsessed with built-ins and shelving and things like that. So these sorts of things I feel like are timeless and will stay with us for a really long time. So this is the first thing 
I picked up. Similar-ish to that is just this little black geometric ball. We just need so many different accent pieces and I was so scared that I was like, I got too many gold or I got too much black. So I don't know, I just kept buying things. This was $5.99, so a really good deal at the at-home store. And it's just a cute little thing that I'll be able to set on the shelves. It literally is weightless, so. This was an important thing for me to pick up. The next item you will probably recognize it is this one from Threshold from Studio McGee. I did actually get this at Daily Deals though, so if you saw that video, you saw that in that haul. This was $10 originally from Target. I think it is like $15 or $20, so I got it for a little bit less. I just know that there's lots of different places around the room I can use it or somewhere else in the house. So I wanted to include it in this video because it's most likely going to end up in this room. Another vase that I picked up is this amber vase from the Target dollar spot. This is only $3. It's such a steal. Even if I decide I don't want to keep it brown, I was thinking about painting it with um, the baking soda and acrylic paint um, trick that's out there right now or spray painting it with the textured spray paint that is all over reels and TikTok. if you haven't seen it you should definitely google the textured spray paint people have been doing some amazing projects i do love it the brown color though but still wanted to pick it up even if i decide not to keep it brown because i do like the shape and the details on it and i just feel like you could really transform it if you want to for my bedside table i picked up this little like jewelry holder it's like a little ring dish i do take off my rings when i go to sleep because i don't know if anyone else is like me but i swell up in my sleep and we are obsessed with pineapples no we're not swingers no, we don't like pineapples for any other reason other than the fact that it's just an inside joke to our relationship if you know you know but I just love pineapples and I just thought this would go so perfect in our room and because I like to take my rings off this is such a nice little dish that I can put them in this was from the at-home store and this was $4.99 one thing I picked up that I'm really excited about is this letter board it is like wooden on the outside and then black on the inside I'm not gonna tell you what I want to use it for but I have a really, really good idea of what I wanna do with it. This was $10, I believe, such a good deal, and I just saw it matched perfectly with all the colors in here, and it's like playing off of an idea that a lot of people do, but me doing it in my own way. You'll just have to wait and see. I did go ahead and pick up a bunch of picture frames. I wanna have just more pictures of us around and just picture frames, I just really like them, so I just wanted to pick up a bunch. I did also print out a bunch of pictures. <laughs> stab myself I did also print out a bunch of pictures from Walgreens so cheap if you order them online and then if you have a program downloaded like honey which is like my most favorite coupon automatic applier thing it's like a Google Chrome extension they will just apply all the coupons that are out there and I ended up getting like 50% off with like the code autumn 50 I think so the prints were really 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 cheap like they're already cheap but then they were even more cheap if you just order them online and then you go pick them up it's super super easy so printed out a bunch of pictures and you'll see those in the video then I did pick up this frame it is just a really simple pretty gold frame this was $5.99 it's the brand Isaac Jacobs they have so many at home goods so I'm sure you will be able to find something that you like if you're in the market for some new picture frames also from home goods is this like double panel black one I did print out some color pictures some black and white pictures and I just thought it would be pretty to have like two black and white pictures of Brian and I or something like that in this frame I just thought it would be really really nice so I did pick up this double one and this one was also $5.99 last picture frame from home goods is this one this one has like wood on the bottom but then this like really really pretty tiling at the top I just liked the different mix of textures and I just liked how it was half and half I don't know I just feel like it was a good blend of like everything I was doing in here this one was $10 so definitely a little bit pricier holds a 5 by 7 photo so when I printed out my photos I made sure to get tons of sizes of each one and the last picture frame I actually got on clearance at Kirkland's this was seven dollars on clearance from Kirkland's and it just has this like really really pretty like cane or like rattan woven detailing which we have a lot of in this room so I thought it'd be nice to tie that in in a lot of different places and finding this on clearance at Kirkland's I just felt like it was like meant to be the next home accent is this from home goods it's just like this little cake stand I feel like it's gonna be hard to like do this justice on camera 
but it just this comes off and it's almost like this little candle holder this was ten dollars I did buy a fake candle to go in it it looks really really pretty when it's lit but I do think that the candle is a little bit too big for this if I leave the glass on so not exactly sure what I'm gonna do with it yet might just like leave this on its own or find something else really really small to go in there if I was decorating for like Christmas or something like a tiny Christmas tree in there would be like so good so just an idea for the future maybe but these two items I did buy to go together and the fake candle was also $20 moving into vases I did get this one from the at-home store it was $20 but I did have like 15% off for my birthday they sent me a birthday coupon and I just really liked it it's also another item that is like pretty weightless so if I wanted to put it on the shelves I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that yet but if I wanted to this is a super weightless item so it'd be really good to add a, you know another item but without adding Adding the weight because like I mentioned I'm scared so I did pick up this I just loved like the color and the textures and just the different stripes I think it would look really pretty with pompous grass coming out of it or something like that there is a stem that I really like from Target as well that was like more of like a white floral so we'll see what ends up going in here but I did pick this up because I just loved the colors and the texture of it the next vase is this one that I got on clearance from the at-home store it was $6.99 originally and then I think on clearance I got it for like 60% off so I think this was less than three dollars I loved the texture of it just like the different levels and it's a little bit like you know rough around the edges looking I just really really loved this I thought it was super different and would just add a lot to whatever space I decide to use it for the next item I love so much originally I wasn't sure about it and then when I thought about like decorating this room I was like oh yeah that's like pretty perfect I think I'm gonna need that this plant from Studio McKee. I said this on Instagram, but I feel like our entire room is just gonna look like a catalog photo of the Studio McGee collection from Target. And I'm not mad about it. If you are, I'm sorry, but I am not. I feel like I'm literally like in a jungle, but it just has this really, really pretty vase. It is like a little bit textured. I don't love the feeling of it. And I just loved these little handles. And I love how the stems are very spread out. So it just like makes a very like impactful statement and takes up like a good chunk of room, but it still feels like very light and airy. So I just loved all the complexities of it. I don't know why I'm talking about it. Like it's a literal work of art, but I really love this. I'm glad that I was able to pick it up. And this was $25. Also from Target, I did pick up this brand new item to the dollar spot it is just this tiny little fake plant it has what looks like to be a eucalyptus coming out of it and I just loved the little pot I liked the color it's a little bit different than other stuff we have going on but I think I could either use it in the bathroom or somewhere in here it's very very small so it's just perfect to stick when you just need an extra little something something and this was three dollars we're coming down to the last few home accents next are these candle holders these are the Martha Stewart brand but I did get these at home goods they were three dollars three dollars they were twenty dollars for all three of these and the different varying heights at first I wasn't sure they also do come in black and in silver so if gold is not your thing um, they do have those two options right now as well and I found these at a lot of different home goods so they're definitely very popular right now I did see some people who just use them without candles in them so I'm going to at first decorate them without actually putting candlesticks in them and just see um, it's just a nice item to add different varying heights and they're not very heavy to like maybe the shelves above the bed or somewhere on the TV stand that I'm gonna show you so I just wanted to go ahead and pick these up three for $20 and I feel like if I decide not to use them I can easily return any of the stuff that I decide I actually don't need next up we do have this candle it is a really pretty like textured gold candle so I just want to kind of show you the texture I love how it is gold for sure but it's not like gold because it has this texture to it I don't know you're probably all at home like no Katie like it's gold <laughs> I don't know but I did like this candle it was ten dollars I thought it was like five so apparently I paid ten dollars for this the scent is sugared citrus but I'm just gonna be using this as decor and not actually burning it and then lastly for home accents before we get into the last category I did pick up a bunch of books so I knew I wanted to go to the Goodwill I've been trying to go to this Goodwill for a really really long time um, it's a brand new or pretty new Goodwill to my area and it just seemed really nice so I knew I wanted to check it out and get some old books so I do recommend bringing some hand sanitizer. My hands felt pretty dirty after like touching all of these old books. And keep in mind, I have already taken all of the like coverlets off of them. So I looked for only 
hard shell books and I wanted them to be black and white or like beige of some sort. So these are the five that I picked up. I did also pick up two for Christmas that I'm really excited about, but I'm gonna make you wait until Christmas to see those ones. But these are the five that I picked up. They were only $1.99 a piece. I was like, this is a freaking bargain. So keep in mind, you know, the books, they're not necessarily like something that we would read or anything, but I just liked the look of them. So here is what the edges look like. I'm not necessarily gonna have them stacked like this, but that's just kind of how it worked out, I guess, when I stacked them. Um, I just loved how they all had like gold or black and white. I don't know, I just thought that they were beautiful, so I picked all of those up for super cheap. And then I did buy one book at Home Goods that I just found, and it's called For the Love of White and Neutral Home Decor, which I love, as you know. And you can also take this coverlet off, and then this is what this one would look like. And I just loved the look of it, so I knew I wanted to go ahead and pick it up. I love decorating with books, and I kind of want to throw it out there because I got a comment that said that decorating with books was bad feng shui. I don't know anything about feng shui. If you do, please let me know down below if this is true. Apparently it's horrible feng shui to decorate with books or to like stack anything on top of books. If you know this to be true, let me know. Alrighty, and I'm gonna quickly run through the last category, but if you have made it this far, please be sure to leave me a home emoji down in the comments below. We'll just confuse everyone who didn't make it this far. Please go ahead and leave me like the little house emoji down in the comments below. Okay, the last category is the bathroom category. So this is a bedroom and bathroom makeover. I feel like one of the bigger transformations is in the bathroom, so I'm really excited to totally make over that space. So I wanna show you the items I have picked up so far. I do have a bit more things to get for that makeover, but I wanna keep that project a little bit more of a secret. So the first two items I picked up were new soap dispensers. I really liked the shape of them. They are a little bit like hexagonal. These were $12.99 a piece from Home Goods. I just loved how classic they were. They had the black, but they're clear, and I'm gonna get some clear soap to put in them. Just one of those big soap jugs from like Amazon or Target but I did go ahead and pick these up. We'll just keep with the glassware trend. I did also pick up these two little jars. These are just so adorable. I loved the wood lids on them. Same like hexagonal shape as well. I just thought they'd be perfect for like cotton rounds or cotton pads and Q-tips or even like hair ties, bobby pins, whatever I want to put in here. We also both have um, electronic toothbrushes so we could put our refill heads in one of these. So many different options. The small one was $6.99 and the big one was $7.99 and if I didn't already mention these were from home goods as well for bath mats I picked these ones from UGG they just have like a really like nice texture to them they are more of a bright white you will see with the shower curtain it's a little bit darker and a bit of like a bold risk so I wanted to do something really bright to keep the space super light because there's not a ton of natural light in there it's just whatever flows in from our bedroom because that is the bathroom right there so these are the ones that I picked up I got them at home goods they were $20 a piece so a little bit pricier but I'm hoping that because they're UGG and like a nicer brand that they'll hold up for a long time for an accent towel I also wanted to do a bright white this is a towel from the at-home store it's the Grace Mitchell collection she's one of the designers that has her own collection with the at-home store it just has these little tassels at the bottom it's a really really simple white bath towel it's not a towel that we're actually going to use maybe to dry our hands um, but other than that it's mostly just for decoration so I picked that one because I just liked how it had the little tassels at the bottom but it was still really simple because our shower curtain is a little bit busy this was a risk I don't know I just feel so drawn to this you will notice I already took the thing off um, because I kind of wanted to like hold it up to our shower I was like oh did I make the right choice but I'm not really gonna know until the rest of the decor all comes together and the shower curtain if I end up not loving it or thinking it's too busy or just being unsure about it it's a really really easy and pretty cheap thing to change but I wanted to try to go for it I just really love this one I love how it has the beiges and the whites but it also has gray because we are living in an apartment I can't really change the faucets or the hardware or the mirrors like those are things that I can't really change in the bathroom so I wanted to kind of like 
you know, involve those. And this shower curtain really, I feel like is gonna do a good job tying in the bedroom decor with the bathroom and the hardware that's already in there that we can't change. I'm hoping that this shower curtain will just put a nice little bow on everything. With a new shower, with a new shower curtain, we needed a new liner. So I did pick up this fabric one. Um, these are like the kinds they have at hotels. It literally says hotel fabric shower curtain. It's washable. So that's why I wanted to pick up this one. Cause I feel like if we washed it, it's more sustainable and it's just better for the earth than buying like the plastic ones that smell like death. So I wanted to pick up this one. It was $10. We'll see. We'll see how we like it. Forgot to mention as well that the shower curtain, here's like the thing that went around it originally, was $14.99. For the shelving, I will be installing in the bathroom, hint, hint, wink, wink. I did get this aroma diffuser. I just think they look so pretty. I don't actually know if it's gonna like let off any decent scent, but I just think they look really pretty, so I wanted to get one of these for maybe some potential shelving I am installing. I don't know, you're gonna have to wait and see. For behind the toilet, this is so perfect. It's exactly what I was looking for. It's a basket with a lid that just opens very easily. Um, Brian likes to use dude wipes. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like I'm like totally outing him. It's like a totally normal thing to use like wet wipes or whatever, but he likes to use those and we keep them on the back of the toilet. So I wanted to have like a more decorative place to store them. So this basket is perfect. He can easily just open it, grab a wipe, close it. And for that basket as well, I'm also gonna put like um, a Febreze spray and I also got this potty spray. So I think it's like a version of like poopery, like the fake poopery, if you've ever heard of that. So I did get this from Marshalls and this was $3.99. We've never used any of those sprays so I thought it would be fun to just try it out. It's just a funny thing to have in the basket. It just goes really well. The basket I got from Home Goods, and this was $12.99 and it's actually from their Made in Vietnam collection. And then the last bathroom item I picked up was this print. I got this at Marshalls as well. This was $12.99. It's just really, really simple. I knew I wanted to like put art on the walls but I don't want anything too crazy or too interesting because the shower curtain is just like you know a really crazy print so I wanted to keep everything like while still decorative more like muted and neutral so I picked this up I really loved it I wish there was like another one that went with it I've been looking at like every Marshall's TJ Maxx and home goods that I've been going to like trying to find the sister or brother print to this no luck yet but I'm definitely going to keep looking there are a few bigger items that I picked up for this room transformation, so I'm just gonna kind of show you on the camera and tell you where I got them and the prices, but they're too big for me to like hold up right here. So the first one is this plant from Hearth and Hand. I just loved the basket, it is new. This is a new item, and I loved how it had like dirt in it and not moss. It's a great size, I think it's like 40 inches or something. Roars, say hi. <laughs> So I did pick up this to go in here as well. And this is $44.99. I'm really outing myself here with how much of a disaster our room is, but I had to drag everything in here to show you. So I did get this mirror from Home Goods. I'm really, really happy with it. The one I originally wanted, I think would have been too wide for this wall. I still wanted there to be some space on the wall. And I do like this little stand that it has down here, but it's a really nice full length mirror where I can like take pictures and just look at my outfits. It does still need to be wiped and everything, which I will get to, but I picked this up from Home Goods for $130. These are our nightstands. These are by Hearth and Hand. They're an online only item. They have so much amazing furniture online. These are a new collection that just came out for the fall. But when I saw these, I just knew they would be perfect. They are exactly what we've been looking for. Two drawers, great size, and really excited to actually like clean up and decorate this entire space. These were, I believe, $150 a piece, but I will have everything linked for you down below. She is beauty, she is grace, she is Miss United States. This is our TV stand. I am so in love with this. This is a Studio McGee item, again, online only, but it will be linked for you down below. I was able to get this for the Labor Day sale, and then there was an additional sale on top of it. So I got it for a really, really good price, but I do believe originally it is $330. I'm just so in love with like the details and it's just like modern but still a little bit like bohemian. The black was a really, really scary choice for me to make because it's just such a bold piece of furniture but I love it so, so much. It is actually a dupe for one from 
crate and barrel I believe I'll put a little picture of it right here if you are interested in seeing it so it's a little bit of a dupe for that much 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 cheaper and I'm just so excited to style this we made it thank you so much if you have made it to the end of this video if you haven't yet please make sure you give this video a big 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 thumbs up if you are excited for this room makeover and transformation please make sure to give it a big thumbs up if you haven't yet make sure you also hit the subscribe button down below please let me know what was your favorite item that i showed in today's video or if you have any questions about anything oh my gosh i'm just so excited to like finally have this project like really underway and really get it done i'm just so so thrilled and i hope you guys are excited too but that is gonna be it for me i will see you next time bye guys